And can I say when the day comes, saints, when the day comes, we are all going to shout together. I'm calling Oprah, Obama, I'm calling Michelle, I'm calling Beyonce, I'm calling everybody because everybody needs to know. I got me a man. I got me a man. Come on, somebody. That sounds good rolling off my tongue. Um, yes, hi, hello. Is um is Uncle Barry available? Is he anywhere around? Actually, you know what? Call Auntie Shell too. I just I just need 30 seconds of their time. <laughs> hello, can I speak to Oprah please? I just I just have some national news that honestly she might want to do a segment on. <laughs> Beyonce, sis, I finally understand what you meant in love on top. Like everybody keep asking me while I'm smiling out from ear to ear and I'm just like, I mean. <laughs> Y'all, I don't even know how to act right now. First of all, it has been too long. Too long since I have sat in front of you, in front of a camera, and recorded a talking video for you guys. I was vlogging for Yeepaw Week. In between that, I wasn't even posting, y'all. I was down under. I've been looking like an ogre all summer. Y'all been talking about this hot girl summer. I don't even know what, I can't even tell you what a hot girl summer is because your girl was face to keyboard, okay? I am so happy to report. So happy to report that your girl finished her written candidacy exam for her PhD. It's done. It's over. It's finito. I wish I had a booklet here to show you guys because I did get them printed from FedEx because I had to turn them into my committee members. So I will put little clips in here so you guys can see. But yesterday was just... So yesterday is when I picked them up, but I finished on Wednesday and I submitted online on Wednesday. So your girl is done with that portion. I do have an oral portion. I do have to defend what I wrote um, orally on September 6th. So mark that date down. Have your girl just lifted in prayer. But some of you are probably frustrated because my intro has nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now. This video, I actually have a little bit of time. I'm going into work um, in a few hours, but I thought, let me come on here and just talk to them. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. So let me just give you a life update because this summer just was crazy. I didn't have time to talk to you guys. I have so many video ideas. I literally feel constipated with video ideas. But now that this major, major portion of my PhD life is over, I have a little bit, little bit, not a lot but a little bit more time to get some videos out for you guys. So this video is just, it's just a big old, I didn't even like have a plan for this. I'm just talking, I'm giving you life updates. I'm giving you what's new. I'm giving you the big news that you all came here to see because of the title. I am just, yeah, I'm just excited. So for those of you who have no idea who I am, at this point you're probably just like, huh sis, like who are you even? I'm sorry, it's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of things going on. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby here on the channel. We are Miss GCH. Those are just my initials. And yeah, welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is the first video you've ever seen. Hey sis, hey bruh, because I always be forgetting that the bruhs, not the bruhs. Sorry, I always forget that the dudes be watching too. So hey all of y'all, if you're new, if you're old and you've been waiting for a new video, I'm sorry, but hey girl, what's up, we here. Don't you worry, I'm gonna get you caught up on the last three months of my life and I'm gonna stop clapping at y'all because it's probably really loud in this camera. Um, anyway, what else can I tell you? Oh, a few things. So, we hit 2,000 subscribers over my hiatus, which it wasn't a complete hiatus, so I don't feel bad about the fact that so many of you were added and, you know, I'll give you a few videos. But, yes, we are at 2,101 subscribers as of this morning when I checked before this video. So, hello to all of you. I'm so excited that literally in half the time it took us to get 1,000, we got to 2,000. I don't know y'all are just y'all have been faithful and committed and even though I can tell like my channel is not growing as much as it could be right now just because I couldn't be on there I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do with you guys but it's okay we are back in action I promise there will be a little bit more consistency now that I have a little bit more time um, but anyway so welcome to all the new subscribers um, I feel like I should do some shout should I do some shout outs I can't do them from my phone I don't think I can see because my phone wouldn't let me so I went and got my 
my laptop because I just feel like y'all deserve some shout outs. We got tons of new people from when I was featured on Gay Bang TV for like 30 seconds when I went to Indy. So hello to all the Gay Bang TV people that are here. I did see all your messages and comments and love. Thank you for coming over just based on their word. Y'all are so sweet and so dope and I am just I'm so grateful. So, shout out to Carly. Shout out to Cheerwine. Shout out to Miss Riri. Shout out to Tasia Stone. I hope I'm saying y'all's names right. Please do this. Shout out to Vernell Harris. Shout out to Jennifer Johnson. Shout out to the Fun and Budget at. She said, hey girl, hey. Stop thinking from Gabe TV. Hey girl, hey. Ah! Shout out to Gabe. <laughs> um, let's see. Who else? It's been so long, y'all, since I've been on here doing stuff I done forgot how to find you ah here we go perfect shout out to the Morgan shout out to Rachel Ward uh, shout out to Umi's diary and I'll do one more shout out to Kendall Harp thank all of y'all for subscribing and joining the family I'm so excited to have you on board and actually see real content from me so what else oh if you're wondering those of you who have been around for a minute, yes, I did cut my hair. I got my hair cut yesterday, which I went in with no intention of getting a haircut. But I'm not gonna tell you guys the full story because I'm gonna do a whole different video on that and the health of my hair. As you can tell right now, my hair is healthy, okay? That cut was the best thing I could have done. And the curls are extra bouncy right now because, major plug, the hairdresser told me to keep the bouncy curls that I had yesterday to pin curl them at night. I used to do all sorts of things or just wrap it and lose the curls and I would be so sad. Now it was a little frustrating because you know that fresh press is hard to, it's hard to maneuver hair, it's just so soft. But I did it, I did the pin curls and was kind of second guessing myself. I took the pin curls down this morning and look at her go, look at her go. Ah. <laughs> so yes, I will do a video on all of that later on. But yes, if you're wondering, my hair is cut. It had gotten so long, so yeah, just look out for the video for that. Okay, last but not least, well no, okay. For those who are wondering what's left for my PhD, so this year I'm walking into my fourth year of graduate school, fourth year as a P, well, I haven't been a PhD student the whole time, but this is the fourth year of my PhD journey. Um, all that's left will be my oral defense in September and writing my dissertation. This is really my last year on Ohio State's campus. Wow. This is my last year on a college campus. Wow. Next year I will have a full-time internship either somewhere out in the world or here in Columbus City Schools. Next year I graduate with my PhD. Like 2021 y'all. May 2021. I'm calling it now. It's done. It's finished. I am so, guys, uh, this joy is not the joy that I've had for the last three months. So I think it's just all coming to a head now that I'm talking to y'all. Cause we just excited, we happy, good things happening. But okay, now for the moment of truth that you all have been waiting for, I'm gonna just hop right into it. Yes, yes, it's all true. If you are friends with me on Facebook, if you follow me on Instagram, you are already aware of this news. So it's not a surprise to you, but yes, your girl is in a whole relationship. Wow. <gasps> what? I can't even, I can't even fathom it. Honestly, I just, I'm blown. I'm honestly blown. Um, I've been a girlfriend for four months and wow, it's been a journey. It's been, it was an unexpected journey but also I guess everybody else in my life was like, it was expected, we knew, okay. Um, I was late to the train, but you know, nonetheless, I got on the train. It has been honestly the craziest experience. And I really think I'm going to go more into depth in another video, because I want to do, um, well, let me start here. Okay, so I was nervous about telling you guys. You, you all are my last social media platform to find out about me being in a relationship. And mainly because I have so many subscribers on here from my Save Single and Left Behind series. Like, you all found that. We related. We were vibing about how stressful that is and how it's been and how I was 25 years single, never kissed anybody, none of that. And we were vibing on that, you know? And so I felt like if I come out and say, like, oh, I'm in a relationship not to say that people would be bitter or anything I really thought that people would think 
that my message is now less relevant for you all and I'm just like I still have so much to share about going that entire time waiting for an opportunity and what that journey has been like I have I think six episodes up right now maybe five um and I feel like there's still so much more about the impact that that had on me that I have to share with you all so I don't want you to think that that series is no longer relevant so I was nervous about telling y'all but I'm hoping that there will be a good response to this and I'm hoping you will still stick around and watch those videos because I still like I said I have so much to share with you guys and yeah I don't want you to just feel like I'm, I'm not relevant anymore because y'all are still my sisters and I just really feel like there's still so much we can relate about um but anyways yeah so still look out for another video I think the next one I'm going to do is basically about how for the first two weeks to maybe the first month your girl did not like being a girlfriend <laughs> I was not about that life honestly which is probably a surprise for a lot of you to hear but yeah so I think that's what the next episode will be talking about how all that singleness and independence and those mindsets kind of carried over into me being in a relationship and that transition was interesting for me so I think that'll be the next episode on that um so stay tuned if you want to hear about that I think the other question that everybody has been asking me when they hear okay you've been in a relationship like 25 years never been kissed has that status changed I don't mind sharing with you all that actually that is behind me okay you know I figured it out and amen because you probably remember one of the clips from one of my videos where I was really concerned about whether or not I was gonna be able to figure that out yes. all these times I didn't get kissed on it was my fault okay Many of the times I was just, I'm, I'm a big awkward sauce. Whoever asked the awkward question before, now this is where I am awkward. When it comes down to like, oh, the moment's about to happen, I am awkward sauce. You hear me? Yeah. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's all my fault. It is. It is. I have a wall up. No one has really broken down yet. I, I just don't know. Like, somebody's just gonna have to be really the right one and be really patient with me for it to happen but all is well we figured it out that is behind me all is well yeah so I don't know what else you guys want to know about that I mean people kind of want to know who he is and I actually was swearing up and down that I would not even mention I was in a relationship with anybody or say anything like that until I was like proposed to because I just feel like doing all the oh look at my boyfriend look at us and then y'all break up and then it's just kind of like huh you know like you did all that for what um and I didn't want a whole lot of people to feel like they had to be in in the business and in the mix because I appreciate the love that I receive, but sometimes it's a little overwhelming. I think it might have played into why it took me so long to even experiment to be in a relationship. And I don't mind sharing it with you all today, obviously, because here we are. Um, I, I don't know if we'll do the whole, like, you know, couples tags and all of that for a while. Um, like, we're solid, and I really enjoy this relationship, and God is using it in so many ways to expose me, to challenge me, to grow me. It's great. Um, I just don't know how YouTube present will be. Like, that's a lot to take a relationship onto the screen. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We may do something fun eventually. But, yeah, your girl been a girlfriend for a whole four months. And it has really been a blessing. And I'm really enjoying the process. And, yeah. So, with that being said, I think you all are caught up from my life for the past three slash four months. Um, do I have anything else to share? I don't know. Look forward to what's coming. I've got some hair videos coming out. I've got some college-related stuff for all the people who are first-time college-goers, which... Some of you might have started either this week or you're starting next week. I'm so excited for y'all. It's going to be great. If you have specific questions you want me to answer in those college Q&A videos or college information videos, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'll make sure I get to them or send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. Y'all be blowing up my DMs on Instagram. And honestly, it makes me feel really loved. And I'm really glad we'd be building bonds and just having a good time with this thing. So, yeah, if you want to drop it there, that's fine too. Oh, and make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on for when I do this next episode of Saint single and left behind because I just really think it'll be really really good for y'all and I'm just excited about what's to come with YouTube with my life with my relationship with just it's just good vibes right now y'all it's really good vibes I don't know if you can tell I'm just 
this is actually why I ended up telling people that I was in a relationship because everybody just was on my page and on my pictures like you're glowing you're glow like literally every month since I've been in a relationship I've had somebody comment on one of my pictures like oh you're glow like wow you're just glowing <sighs> I mean I smelled a lot beforehand too like don't don't get it twisted but your girl is happy your girl is doing good things and I hope y'all are too I hope you are well and I'm so excited to get this video up for you guys and just get back to it. If you like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and tell me something about what you enjoyed or if you're just happy to see me back or you just wanna say hey, whatever, or if you notice your shout out, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And with all that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.